So on the bench today, we have the Banggood 110-220 to 12 volts, 24 watts switch power supply for strip light controller. I have two of them here, and I have one of them hooked up to my uh, variable isolation transformer and safety analyzer on the primary side. And on the output side, I have it hooked to my EL300 uh, electronic load. I have been running it now for, oh, I'd say, about half an hour at full tilt, so at roughly 24 watts, which is 12 volts at 2 amps. And uh, it's pretty warm. So at, at present, the switching transformer is somewhere in the neighborhood of 180 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 degrees Celsius. It's pretty damn hot. So at, at full load, you're probably going to want to add some other kind of cooling. Uh, you know, perhaps a little, a little fan or something like that just to keep things on the cool side. The other thing I'll caution you about is that the, um, when the thing was assembled, at least the two samples that I have, there was no heat sink compound on these uh, switching transistors. And uh, when I measured them again with the, uh, with the infrared thermal uh, temperature sensor, this uh, primary side one was running at about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. But the heat sink that it was attached to was only at about 99 degrees Fahrenheit. So on the model I have here running, I did take uh, the screw out of the side, take this little bracket off, and put some heat sink compound uh, between the switching transistors and the heat sink. Because this, the entire case is basically a heat sink. It's all uh, aluminum, so, or aluminum, depending upon which side of the ocean you come from. And right now, we're running at approximately 135 to 145 across the heat sink, as well as just slightly higher on the transistors themselves. So with a little heat sink compound in there, we're getting reasonable thermal uh, transfer. Uh, the other notable items is this little 24 watt power supply is fused. It does have a class X Y capacitor and a uh, common mode choke on the input. So it's, it's definitely not scraping the bottom of the barrel from a switching power supply standpoint, especially when you consider that I bought these during the 10th anniversary sale and they were $3.99. At FAN, you just heard kick on is the, uh, is the constant uh, current load on this power supply. So I think I'll wind that down a little bit. Uh, the other thing um, on this particular unit, the voltage adjustment trimmer uh, was not completely soldered down on the board. Uh, so I just, uh, Sucked the solder off, refloated, it, stuck it back down there, and soldered it tight on the board, and it it works just fine. No no issues there at all. Um, I did test uh, the input regulation, and it is right within the sticker. When I got the voltage down to 110 volts, it ceased to properly regulate, um, and I took it up as high as my uh, uh, variable transformer will go and that was 140 volts and it maintained uh, 12 volts on the output. From no current load uh, set at 12 volts with the potentiometer there to potentiometer to full current load at 2 amps 24 watts we lost about 4 tenths of a volt in the output as measured at the load. So overall not a bad little gizmo. I am no switching power supply expert by any means, but these simple tests I did at least make it as a, a viable option for, you know, uh, strip lighting. I don't know without, like I said, without a fan, if I would run this full out at, at two amps, because it, uh, it does get a little toasty. Till next time.